She squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? No. Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. The Champion has proven herself Kirkwall's greatest defender. I doubt that she favors sedition. Sounds like you two have quite the little argument going. This is not an argument. It's treason. I think the Champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what she has to say? Not at all. Do you agree with the First Enchanter's accusations, Champion? What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. You're hardly receptive to whatever gets in your way. And I become less receptive each moment this nonsense continues. Rogue mages are constantly threatening the city. Exactly. Would you have us do nothing in response? I would have you not paint us all with the same brush. Not all mages are waiting for the opportunity to wreak havoc. You know as well as I that temptation preys on every mage, no matter how noble their intentions. You hear this, yes? She would lock you up too if she were able. The champion saved this city, unlike some who threaten it with their misguided outrage. You push us into desperate acts, and then use that as justification to press even further. The Templars are only making the problem worse. I will not sacrifice the well-being of innocence for the sake of a few mages. I will not. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Leave my mother out of this. Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. The First Enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chandry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. The First Enchanter is right. You should not be ruling Kirkwall. And yet I shall continue, until such a time as the city is safe. Do you see? She is incapable of reason! Maybe you two should wrestle, because there's no other way to resolve this. You are naive, Champion. You will find that not everyone bows to your will, Knight Commander. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. 
Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your Grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh, my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. All quiet around here, Captain. Why? You've certainly come a long way, Hawk. That ruckus has been going on for some time. Can you calm him down? <laughs> I'm sure the furniture's very sorry for whatever it did, old boy. All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please, just let me go. You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, Sarah. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. It's the dungeons for you. Go fetch a watchman, boy. Go in to fetch the watch. Dogs aren't that smart. Right? Smarter than you, anyway. Town is such a strange place. It feels like it's miles away from everywhere else. Alienage, Sundermount, Ferelden. Those could be from a dream. Oh, Marvinan, I didn't see you there. I'm going to visit the Alienage. Do you want anything from Lowtown? Are you close to many of the people in the Alienage? No, uh, not really. I think most of them don't even know my name. I'm stopping by my house for a bit, that's all. I've left some things undone there. I'll be back later. Whatever you're doing, watch yourself, Meryl. I will. Thank you, Marvinan. Back before dark, I promise. like the house special whiskey flavored with rat droppings you don't have to keep checking up on me i'm fine why do you keep coming here you're better than this i'm comfortable here all right remember what you said after the mess with the canary 
I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those Canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion, and I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh... No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Fuck. What can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy. But that's most everyone in this city. I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, oh champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. How does one get made a paragon? The assembly votes on it. Enough votes, and bam! You're a living god. You should ask to be made a paragon... ...of manliness. Oh, I like the way you think, Ravani. But one doesn't just ask to be made a paragon. Why not? Everyone can see you're a paragon of manliness. It's just a matter of making it official. Guardsmen, duties for the week will be... Lowtown canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. Thank you. Donick is... Good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlay went. You're right. I didn't. Ooh, shivery. Anything else? Pure men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. 
A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Just checking in. Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. We should move on. Come on, Daisy. You shouldn't be stuck in this rat trap. Does Hawk even know you're here? I don't have to ask permission to come to my own house, Beric. Just take a walk around the Lowtown Market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I... know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Beric is very sweet, frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. I probably should have told Bodan where I was going. I hope I didn't worry you. Meryl, is there anything that doesn't make you nervous? The flowers and bunnies, maybe? What about poison flowers? Or... or... or dire bunnies? In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. I'm sure the Keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. There's a story behind Bianca. There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl, and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. The first enchanter overstepped his bounds. He was provoked. The people want to know which side you favor. It weakens you. Strength will not win this fight, Sebastian. If the Maker is merciful, he will help them find peace. We can only be waiting when they do. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What? Have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Then you do favor the Templars, Your Grace. I favor peace, which is not the goal of either side, I'm afraid. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. 
I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I can't imagine any way this will go wrong. What would you have of us? The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. Isn't lying a sin? Has Kirkwall not suffered enough? Should it be declared anathema and an enemy of the Chantry? Imagine High Town streets, filled not just with Meredith's Templars, but all the forces the Divine can command. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. What can you tell me about this Servant of the Divine? I was not told her real name. Only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the Divine's left hand, sent to do work that might blacken the Divine's name. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Sing of the chance. Hello again, Champion. The Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. I can handle that. It's done.
So, even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spies! Resolutionists. I might have known they would be part of this. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here in Kirkwall. I have some experience in unconventional situations. The Liliana? ...who accompanied the hero of Ferelden to slay the Archdemon. Ah... ...I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes... ...I knew the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps you have heard the songs I wrote of our time together. But that... ...was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now... ...in Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who are the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry... ...and the abolition of the Circle. We have... ...tolerated them. But the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. I appreciate you stepping in back there. Of course. They mistook you for me. So they must know I am in Kirkwall. The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. Like any mage with a brain can't come up with, let's rebel. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. A few... Uh, wild cards aside... Grand Cleric Althena has it all under control, I swear. Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates? How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. None of you? Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orlais. She will not be safe here. These mages are out of control. Very well, someone thinks he's important. It was idiotic. So they would have killed me. And you returned anyway. You couldn't face the thought of so many innocents dying for something you could prevent. Tell that to the Viscount. It's frightening, isn't it? To realize you have the potential to be a better person. The Grand... Cleric is a doddering fool. Kirkwall deserves better.
So, I've never understood why the Chantry says if you're good, you'll be taken up to the Maker's side. Those who die with the sins cleansed from their souls will walk beside the Maker in eternity. That doesn't sound fun. If they really want people to be good, shouldn't they offer an afterlife with lakes of wine and a dozen naked virgins? <laughs> Anyone who wants that will be going to the void. Sounds like that's where all the good parties will be. What would you say to an exciting trip to Orlais? I hear the Grand Cathedral's lovely this time of year. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I am surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. Are you saying you will not flee? When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. You don't hear that one quoted often, do you? Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked do not prosper. So, Hawk and Daisy. I think they're darling together. Really? You're not at all jealous? Because I thought that you and Hawk... Hawk was just a dalliance. You know I've still got my eye on you. Keep dreaming, Ravani. Mistress Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sarah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history. Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic broodmothers. Usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the Deep Roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible's happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother. Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the Deep Roads. Find my brother. You must.
Nathaniel Howe? You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders! Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander killed the Architect, we thought it would be decades before the Deep Roads would be infested again. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear, but it seems they were wrong. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Tide. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Barrick was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Tig. We should bring your sister the good news. I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Master Howe, you live. Tamarin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dwarkin made the explosives back in Vigil's keep. Aye, and that he did, before the sudden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you going to do with these explosives? We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Taig you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. Corridors lined with explosives and darkspawn galore. It's not even my birthday. Temerin, the way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. I fear we have come all this way for nothing. But 
my fallen comrades will be avenged. The Darkspawn are here. Since I've been down here, I don't sense a single darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well. You're not nearly as selfish as you pretend. Hey, you take that back. You had your relic. Good day. You were gone. There was no reason for you to come back and face the Canari. I still don't have a ship. I thought I could get one. From a bunch of shipwrecked Canari? From the Viscount. I just got here late. I always knew you had a heart of gold. Shh, don't tell anyone. Built in this city, the Arashak considered you Basalit An. Many Kanari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Kanari sword, return it to me. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. Try stabbing them! Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. 
ruined. It's always something with this mine. A cart came back from the bone pit, half wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll check it out. You keep interrogating that horse. I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner.
I don't know how you live the way you do, blithely ignoring the consequences of your actions. This is about the Canari thing, isn't it? I'm not ignoring it, I just recognize that it happened years ago. There's this fantastic thing called moving on. You should try it sometime. Has it occurred to you that Kirkwall is only just recovering from the Canari attack? And you want me to... what? Flog myself daily? Has it occurred to you that maybe there's no justice in the world? Other than that voice you keep in your head. A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? No. And neither did the workers who died trying to save it. Oh, my heart. So many years of investment. I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help, but I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. Give me the bone pit. Perhaps in a few years I can get it back in order. What? Huh? Fine. Take it. I wash my hands of this cursed venture. <laughs> 